The St. Lucian government has donated U.S. $100,000 to the Taiwanese government. Prime Minister King called it a demonstration of sympathy and support aimed at assisting the Taiwanese following a devastating typhoon last week. The Prime Minister says the money is especially for the indigenous people of the country, the ones who are said to have been most affected by the disaster. This may be considered to be small, but I believe it is a symbolic demonstration of our support, our appreciation, and also to give moral support to the people of Taiwan to show that we here in St. Lucia, the sons and daughters of St. Lucia, value that very, very significant relationship between our two countries. Ambassador Tom Cho received the money on behalf of his people. He says he's overwhelmed by the gesture of the government. He called it a demonstration of true friendship between the two countries. I'm a specialist. Um, PM's war um, are so warm that touch my heart. On behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and the people uh, who suffer the most, in the disaster area. I would, would like to ex express my deep appreciation uh, to Your Excellency, the Prime Minister King, and the people of St. Lucia uh, for your generosity. The Prime Minister says although the donation is not monetarily equivalent to the one given by the Taiwanese to St. Lucia, Following the passage of Hurricane Dean, the spirit in which it is given is similar. The decision to donate the money was made at a cabinet meeting last week Thursday. On occasions when our countries are devastated, it calls upon friends to come forward and to provide support, to give moral support and financial support where possible to help rebuild and to um, regain strength in national development. The donation took place at the Prime Minister's office on the Castries waterfront. It was witnessed by Agriculture Minister Ezekiel Joseph and the Prime Minister's Executive Assistant Egbert Andrew, as well as dignitaries from the Taiwanese Embassy. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.